right, good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome on this new video on Remnant from the Ashes. In this video I'm going to show you things that you might have missed in World Prime. The underground base that you will find at the beginning of the new DLC subject 2923. There are actually a few secrets in there that await to be discovered and there are exactly three purple items inside World Prime. These items being two rings and a weapon. An handgun, in fact, called the Machine Pistol. The two rings are pretty straightforward to get, while the handgun requires a little bit more exploration and it's incredibly easy to miss it during your first visit at the world. Starting from the rings, they are the Vanguard Ring and the Ring of Honor. You can get the first as soon as you get access to World Prime in the first underground level. The one that has the big crystal inside the big chamber at the center of the map. You'll find a room with a key item in one of the shelves. Pick that up to get the Homestead Basement Key. What are you going to do with that key? Well, on your way to the world while you were killing root enemies, you have encountered a peculiar house. Not much because of the house itself, but because there were enemies in and around the house that you never seen before. Giant rats, to be more specific. Inside this house, hidden behind two shelves, there is a staircase that leads to the basement and to a locked door. This key opens that door. You just need to backtrack to the house. For me it was really easy because I had a world stone right next to it, I don't know if that would be the case for you, but from the stone inside World Prime stairway you can teleport right there. Get in the basement, open the door and on the desk on your far left right next to a wall you'll find the Vanguard ring. While wearing it, melee charge attacks will reduce incoming and outgoing damage by 4% and they will increase enemy aggression towards the wearer for 15 seconds. This thing stacks 5 times. For a total of 20% damage reductions after 5 charge attacks. This effect is not that great in my opinion, since uh, one stack only reduce damage received and dealt by a neglectable amount and if you want to get to that 20% damage reduction you need to strike your enemies 5 times, which with most of the smaller enemies that won't be the case because they die before or if it's a big enemy, unless your character is built specifically for close combat, you won't be able to hit them that many times without the need to heal yourself. Its primary effect seems to get the enemies aggro and it probably works better in co-op but even then I can only see it as a situational ring and I would say that it's definitely not a go-to option. The second ring is instead quite useful and it's the one that you can see through a glass window while exploring the second basement level, the medic station. Getting into the room is actually the tricky part. After you get the maintenance key following the only path available without power, you will be able to open this door. After the corridor you'll arrive at the reactor, but right before entering the reactor room, on your right you will see another of those root cores that can only be destroyed after getting into that kind of parallel dimension by touching one of those weird wormholes. You know what I'm talking about if you've been there already. Do that, destroy the thing to open a passage into another staircase, this will bring you down to open a shortcut to access the medic facilities floor from this side as well. However, on your way to the shortcut door, you will probably see another staircase right on the other side of the corridor from where you arrived. But all the possible doors and exits in that staircase will be blocked. You can, however, see through one of the openings a door with a padlock. Shoot the thing and the door will open. Get back to the shortcuts to get inside the medic facilities, you may want to get the tome of knowledge inside the room on the right as well, and then proceed into the new area. The door you've just opened will lead you directly above the room with the ring. Drop down after slaughtering some innocent chairs and pick up your prize from a skeleton lying on the ground, obtaining the Ring of Honor. It boosts up your HP and stamina by 10 points, which are not game changing but it's always nice to have more of those, and the big thing is that reduces your armor weight by 10 points, making it an incredibly useful tool in order to get from fat to mid roll if you're wearing a heavy set, or potentially even from mid roll to light roll if you so desire, however light builds usually focus on different trinket choices, but it's definitely a good option. 
Finally, we are at the last and best item on this list, the machine pistol. In order to get this one, you will need to complete War Prime. Get to the reactor, destroy the root cores, find Jerry the fuse and reactivate the power in the B1 level. Once you've done all that, head back into the room in which you found the Homestead key at the beginning and you will see that the computer is now on. Interact with it and you'll see it on its screen different options, including an enter password option. Now I don't know if the password is the same for everybody and if you want to figure it out for yourself, there are logs in the computer that tells you how. So if you don't want to get spoiled on this one, this is your cue to leave the video. However, if you got to this point, I, I don't think you will. <laughs> to solve this riddle, all you need to do is to add to the counter at the left of the computer and you will find this board with letters and numbers. The letters are basically the entire alphabet, one letter per square and to each letter will correspond to numbers. The numbers on the left will be the first and the numbers on top will be used as second of the combination. You can see the letter combination displayed next to the board and for me it was I see you. That means that for I, for example, it was 2 and 4. My code was 241351. Once you solve that, the door behind you will magically open and inside you'll find the machine pistol. You will find it a plus 10, providing that you have already a weapon at that level. And this is an amazing sidearm, guys. It has an incredible rate of fire, reload speed is really quick. Bear in mind that I do have uh, quick hands maxed out on my character, so my reload speed is 20% faster already, but even without, is still great. It fires faster and deals more damage than the SMG, although it carries only 24 bullets, while the SMG has a 40 round magazine. I've also noticed that its range is quite limited, being deadly at short range, but failing to deliver a good punch at mid range already, contrary to the SMG, and becoming almost useless less at long range dealing minimum damage but overall it's a great tool for close range situation which is what the end guns focus on like the majority of them uh, close to mid-range combat and with this thing you can literally melt small enemies in regular and hard difficulty in a matter of seconds i haven't tried it on nightmare yet but this thing is good Alright, that was it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, leave a like if it was helpful, I hope it was. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more Remnant contents, because for now that the DLC is out, I post a video on how to get awesome stuff almost every day. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Oaken's out.